Hey guys, welcome back. So it is time to do some food plots. And uh, the area we're gonna be doing today is the deer blinds right here. So it's this nice pond area we have. This is all newly excavated. This whole area with the pond's new from, from previous videos. So I got all this uh, clay that's just been tore up from the bottom of the pond, spread out everywhere. And instead of waiting to you know till it, turn it over, I don't think there's a point. I'm gonna do a no-till approach and just spread some clover and alfalfa all across this. So we're supposed to be getting some rain here tomorrow, uh, a little bit more rain next week. So why not while the sun's out, even though it's just a little bit muddy, let's get some clover and alfalfa seed down and uh, get it over with. So if you look here, uh, I just decided to do like a normal hand spreader. There's some all-purpose sand right here. This is a great way to cut your seed into here to just kind of give you some more material to make it easier to spread. And then I'm doing a new one this year. This is from Outside Pride. And this is called Clover King. Uh, this has the white clover, um, some alfalfa, and I think it was supposed to have some red clover in there too, but it doesn't necessarily say that on there, but I'm pretty sure it does. So I'm gonna be doing the white clover, some crimson clover or red clover, and then some alfalfa too, that's gonna shoot the roots down really deep into the soil to really break this stuff up. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, it is done. So to recap, outside pride, the clover king mix comes with the white clover. I swear this should be the crimson clover that's on here, but it says white too, and alfalfa. Good stuff, 10 pound bags. I did 20 pounds. So they call for 
eight to 10 pounds per acre. I did 20 pounds overall for just a half acre. So super overseeded this whole thing all the way around the pond, all in here, really awesome coverage. You can see it's just all over the ground. Come summertime, this place is gonna just be totally green and popping. It's gonna be awesome. I'll make sure to do some progress videos, maybe like uh, late spring, early summer, something along that time where you can really start to see the green start to show up. But this is gonna look great. Can't wait to see how this turns out uh, with, with overseeding and all the stuff I did. This gives me a lot of wiggle room with uh, birds that can come through, kind of eat the seeds. If you know some seeds don't germinate, some of the stuff's a little washed out. There's just a lot of uh, you know things that still help by overseeding it, so it's just less worry. All right, looking forward to it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. See ya.